Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guida, and in this episode, we are deep in the Chihuahuan Desert, in the tiny town of Lajitas, in the Big Bend area of West Texas. We're right along the Rio Grande River, right at heart against the Mexican border, and we're right outside the west gate of Big Bend National Park. We're gonna bring you to see all of this in this episode, so stay tuned. We're deep in the Chihuahuan Desert, the second largest desert in North America. We're right on the Mexican border, on the banks of the Rio Grande River, in the Big Bend area of beautiful West Texas. Before we bring you into the National Park, our regular viewers may be surprised to learn that we're staying in the Maverick Ranch RV Park, on the grounds of the 28,000 acre Lajitas Golf Resort. With cell service a scarce commodity in the Big Bend area, we need reliable RV park Wi-Fi to be able to work from the road during our visit. We've looked at the numerous RV parks in the Lajitas and Tulinga areas during our stay, and we're confident the Maverick Ranch is by far the nicest of them all. Pull-through sites with full hookups here cost $270 per week. The RV Park's clubhouse is spacious and inviting and houses a large laundry facility as well as a welcoming swimming pool that's actually chilled in summer. Zoe's loving Maverick Ranch's dog run, mere feet from our RV site. Maverick Ranch is part of Lajitas Golf Resort, home to the 18-hole Black Jacks Crossing, designed by PGA Hall of Fame golfer Lanny Watkins. The resort offers sporting clays, a cowboy action shoot, family horseback rides at their equestrian center, the zip line and other activities. We couldn't be happier with our choice of Maverick Ranch RV Park while visiting the Big Bend area of Texas. Well, 
I guess that this resort-owned airport is international. If you fly to Mexico, which is right over there. The Chihuahuan Desert mainly consists of basins interrupted by numerous small, barren mountain ranges. We're here during the desert's only rainy period, the monsoon season, when the prevailing westerly winds shift to from the south, allowing tropical moisture to stream northward directly from the Gulf of California. Maverick Ranch RV Park is located only about 20 miles from the Maverick Junction entrance at the west end of Big Bend National Park. This national park is massive, encompassing 801,000 acres, the largest protected area of Chihuahuan desert topography and ecology in the United States. It includes approximately 118 miles of America's national boundary with Mexico along the Rio Grande, designated a wild and scenic river. The park's climate may be characterized as one of extremes. Dry and hot late spring and summer days often exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the lower elevations. Winters are normally mild, but sub-freezing temperatures occasionally occur. Because of the range in altitude, from about 1,800 feet along the river to nearly 8,000 feet in the Chisos Mountains, a wide variation in available moisture and temperature exists throughout the park. The first Spanish explorers reached this region around the year 1535. Following the end of the Mexican-American War in 1848, the U.S. Army made military surveys of the uncharted land of the Big Bend, and ranchers began to settle the area around 1880. In 1933, the Texas legislature established Texas Canyons State Park. Later that year, the park was redesignated Big Bend State Park. The state of Texas later deeded the land to the federal government, and in 1944, Big Bend National Park became a reality. Big Bend is one of the largest, most remote, and one of the least visited national parks in the contiguous United States averaging just over 350,000 visitors annually. That's instantly propelled this park into one of our favorites. We're also here at the tail end of the low season, as most visits occur during the winter months. As a result, we're seeing few cars on the road, and even fewer parked at even the most popular trailheads in the park. The park is home to coyote, gray fox, and black bears as well as countless jackrabbits, roadrunners, and javelinas, which resemble a wild pig, even though they're not closely related. About two dozen cougars live within the park's boundaries as well. Meep, meep. Settlements surrounding Boquillas resulted from mining operations in the Big Bend area. It's here that the park's Rio Grande Village stands today with a seasonal visitor center, camp store, gas station, and picnic area. Campers will find two campgrounds here, one that's dry camping and the other with RV hookups, although the hookup campground is more of a paved parking lot than anything else. Nightly rates begin at $36 per night in the campground with full hookups, or $14 per night for one of the 100 sites in the dry campground with a dump station at the entrance. 43 of those sites are reservable during the high season, but as you can see, during the low season, there's no difficulty securing a site. We're at the trailhead for Boquillas Canyon, where a short hike offers excellent views of the Rio Grande as it enters the spectacular canyon's 1,300-foot walls.
those travelers carrying a passport, enhanced driver's license, or passport card may pass through the pedestrian port of entry to cross the river in a rowboat to have lunch in the Mexican town of Boquillas del Carmen. Paying a Mexican local $5 to be ferried across and then either walking or paying an additional fee for a donkey or vehicle ride into town. J.O. Langford homesteaded on this land in 1909 and built a bathhouse and more surrounding these hot springs. Unfortunately, border troubles related to the Mexican Revolution forced the Langfords to abandon their home not long after they had built it. They returned in 1927, and with the advent of the automobile, they added a store, post office, and motor court. With the closest post office for many miles, the area became a major center for the widespread community of farmers and homesteaders. People traveled for nearly 100 miles on either side of the border to retrieve their mail from the Hot Springs Post Office and brought with them many things to sell and trade at the community market that soon developed there. In 1942, Langford sold his land to the state of Texas, two years prior to the establishment of the National Park. Normally, the spring is contained by the foundation remains of Langford's once impressive bathhouse on the north bank of the Rio Grande. Today, however, much to our disappointment, the 105 degree mineral water has been flooded by the raging waters of the Rio Grande. Travelers climbing the Chisos Basin Road experience the transition between arid desert and cooler mountain habitats as this scenic winding road rises over 2,000 feet above the desert floor. This is the park's bear and mountain lion country. Within the Chisos Basin area is a visitor center, lodge, restaurant, gift shop, camp store, miles of hiking trails, and a cooler campground at 5,400 feet of elevation. 60 sites are available for $14 per night, with generator hours limited. Trailers over 20 feet and RVs over 24 feet are not recommended due to the narrow winding road to the basin and small campsites in this campground. A trip along the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive highlights the geologic splendor Big Bend is famous for and offers many scenic overlooks and exhibits along the way. Cottonwood Campground is a quiet, shady desert oasis located between the Castellan Historic District 
in the scenic Santa Elena Canyon. Open year round, 24 dry campsites cost $14 per night and no generators are allowed. Pit toilets, running water, grills, and picnic tables are provided, but there is no dump station here. We had hoped to bring you back via the old Maverick Road, but after the recent heavy rainfall, the road is temporarily closed. It's here the park visitors may also opt to try their luck for one of a number of primitive roadside campsites. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us to Big Bend National Park. We're gonna stay here for another episode. And in next week, we're gonna be visiting Big Bend Ranch State Park and checking out some of the property here at Maverick Ranch. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, now's the time. Smack that little red subscribe button right down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. And uh, we would be honored if you share grand adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. Now we always love to hear from you in the comments section down below each video. And if you like this video, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.